Sing to the Lord, you saint of his. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favor lasts a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> Get ready with me. Let me ceremony edition. I'm trying to get the girls um ready. So their dress is ready. And now I have to get myself ready. They are still in school though, so I'm just trying to get things together. I'll see you. Hi people. Hi people. Hi people. Okay. Hi, people. <laughs> Sister say hi people. Hi people. Okay. On our way to church to name the wonderful baby, the wonderful addition to our family. Say yay! 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 <laughs> yay. yay. All right, guys. Mommy, Mommy. Mommy, Mommy. 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 So tonight I will read from the book to all as an agent of God and as an agent of change. Mm -hmm. I will pray that this child, even though she may be surrounded around by things that are not pleasant, it will be an example of, she will be an example of excellence in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll declare all of these names, we sow them in the blood of Jesus. We we'll declare that these names will be associated with greatness in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll be associated with honor in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll be associated with peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Whenever these names are mentioned, we we'll declare it will be for greatness, it will be for joy, in the name of Jesus. Amen. How the prayer is going on, let me quickly give you a backstory to what actually happened this day. We started our morning quite uh, beautifully, you know, looking forward to the naming ceremony and all that. But we um, had a scare and we had to take uh, the baby to the hospital that same day. And on getting to the, to the hospital, they drew blood, did they were supposed to have a test and all of that so they were supposed to get back to us about the test we went to you know trying to get it all together and then just get prepared for the naming ceremony and guess what happened the hospital called uh someone someone misplaced the blood or something and then the question was for us to come back in or come back later and because of the situation uh you know we had a difference uh i know that it was like an emergency but my husband was like let's go back to the hospital mind you this was around um 5 p.m we still had uh to get the kids from school and dress them from the naming ceremony practically speaking i feel like if we head out to the hospital at that point we are not going to make it to the naming ceremony now, my point is not just going to the name is ceremony as an occasion. My issue is that I had a date with God. Honestly, that naming ceremony for me was a date with God. I have a date with my maker. I needed to be in church that day to say thank you to Jesus for all that I have gone through. Uh, and my heart was full. My heart was actually burdened on that day because this is um, the first time I'm going to church in like nine months yes nine months um this is the first time i'm going to church in nine months so i wanted a date with god and so the point is that day even though it looks all beautiful we tried to put it up together i was not happy deep down because i was looking at the child in my hands and i do not know her fate we we are supposed to have a test result to know what is going on and then the test result hasn't come. I don't know what is going on, but I insisted. I was I was just told my husband, please, let's get to church, okay? We'll do this test tomorrow. But today, we're going to church. First of all, I was pissed because who, who, who misplaces a child's uh, blood test? Like, we left home since morning to go to the hospital. We spent so many hours. As a matter of fact, we spent major part of the day in the hospital trying to get tested. And then you guys misplaced this you know it was not fun at all i tried to just film i tried to get it together for my kids i was smiling trying to be happy i remember we were rushing to church and you know i could not even tie my head here or I, I i think i managed to put powder on but it was just 
not an interesting day at all. And this day, one of the things I have also learned about God is that He is faithful. I've said this several times, and I will continue to say it. God has not failed me yet. Uh, even through the challenges and everything, God has not failed me yet. And this is a word to someone that honestly whatever you are going through whatever your day looks like tomorrow will be better <laughs> tomorrow will always always be better no matter what you're going through just make sure you're going through it with god go through it with god okay so this day was just what it is and yeah let's continue the name ceremony Amen. with this end you will reap the fruit of your labor upon her in the name of jesus Amen. Whenever you hold her in these hands, they are healing hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. In your hands, it was the, she was in the hands of God. God is giving them to you, giving her to you while still holding her. And I declare as you hold her in your hands, she will grow in the name of Jesus. Amen. These hands will not be destructive hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. But will be nurturing and growing hands in the name of Jesus. Amen. With these hands as a family, you will hold this order and celebrate because of her in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, bless her, Redeemer. She is a gift of the Lord to you. She will not add sorrow in the name of Jesus. As she comes into this family, the Lord is doing a new thing in the name of Jesus. I want to appreciate God for blessing my family with this gift. Um, you know, sometimes we do not know what we actually need. We know what we want, but we do not know what we actually need. By the time last year ended, and myself and my husband, apart from the pregnancy, we had gone through um, some other things that I felt like was too much for us. I was, I keep repeating that this was not how 2022 was supposed to go. 2022 was supposed to be a beautiful year for my family. It was supposed to be a beautiful year. I had a plan. I drew a plan. Everything went into trash and I was feeling so defeated. I, I just needed a word. I needed God to do something. I want to appreciate God that um, this blessing of God into my family was um, is an answer to a lot of prayers. God used her to confirm so many things in my family. God used her as, as joy for us. God uh, brought us from the situation, the darkness that I thought that I could not bring myself from. Of course, I did not bring myself from it. But I want to appreciate God. I want to give glory to God. Because to him alone be all the glory, all the adoration. And yes, I just want you to let me praise God for... Amen. Yeah, for the birds, but yeah, for bringing me out of the darkness, out of the hole that I went into. I want to appreciate the name of the Lord and glory be to his name alone in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I mean, it's a family testimony, even the big sisters are emotional. <laughs> Amen. Um, For me, she's my testimony. Um, she's my testimony. I'm happy that she's here. Uh, I'm happy that uh, we have Ayolua here. Many times, pregnancy that we, the process that we went through, make me feel like if men are the ones that get married, I mean, get pregnant, uh, there will be many abortions. Uh, because I kept wondering how she, how God helped her to be resilient as such to not even be suggesting uh, abortion. I'm wondering that, I know obviously we have the faith, we have our values, but um, I just don't know how God helped her. How she, she was in bed almost all through. She, I just, yeah, I, I'm grateful that uh, God, God really helped us. It's, it can only be God. She won't be able to heat during the pregnancy. She is throwing up, yet not heaving. So I don't know how God does it. So it's a miracle. It's uncommon manifestation that we can't explain, and we are grateful for that. Um, but this is my testimony here. I'm grateful that God has really helped us. Uh, please let's just be on our fifth and sing this song. <laughs> Thank you.
hands Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, thank you for being a subscriber. And you know that I love you. And if you are watching and you are not a subscriber yet, what are you doing? Please subscribe to this channel so that you won't miss the exciting and beautiful things that are to come. And if you are new on this channel, this channel is dedicated to talking everything faith, everything parenting, relationship, marriage, and definitely lifestyle okay <laughs> all in comparison if you want any of this thing make sure you stick around make sure you like this video make sure you share and give me a comment let me know what you think do you enjoy this okay let me know if you want more of this all right thank you so much for watching and god bless you i'll see you in my next video bye all the things of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.